Is it running? Okay. Um, yeah, um, I was uh, sitting here uh, and uh, posting things on this Johnny Depp and Amber Heard uh, trial. Uh, they were talking, the lawyers were talking on ABC, uh, ABC's GMA. And uh, I watched that video, and I can't quite remember too much about it, but it, I was watching it. And um, I was, after I watched it, I started posting things on, on the video on YouTube uh, where uh, I'm having some problems. Uh, with uh, and I sent this out yesterday uh, to the embassies in Washington and um, the Supreme Courts in a couple states uh, but um, I was having a problem with that war over there in uh, what used to be the what were they the east the East Bloc nations, Eastern, what they call those, the Warsaw Pact or something like that, I don't know, um, I think it was the Warsaw, they weren't a member, but they were east of that, but, okay, anyway, whatever, um, I came across these songs that were written that, that I had, I might have had something to do with maybe 10 years ago, maybe 5, 10 years ago, 15, I don't know. Um, but um, all my life I'd had, I've had the opportunity to uh, be involved with celebrities uh, and Washington and New York and foreign countries and the United Nations and, and uh, the organization organization of American states and all, all that good stuff, all those uh, trade organizations or treaty organizations that were established by um, who was that? Eisenhower I think it was it was Eisenhower, no it was Truman, Truman no, yeah Truman oh by the way Truman President Truman is actually Ross Perot's father. I don't know if you knew that or not, but when I in the nineteen seventies, um, early seventies, right after the moratorium uh, in Washington, which happened in seventy two seventy from seventy two to seventy three, the United States government uh, asked the world in the UN when the Chinese were the um, the the uh, the Security Council of the United Nations was headed by China in seventy two and seventy three. I mean, it might have been seventy four. I don't know afterwards, but um, from seventy two to seventy three, the United States was uh, agreed to with the members of the United Nations or the world or the governments of the world uh, that they would conduct an investigation and be responsible for uh, coping with and getting us out of this control problem uh, that we got into in 72. Anyway, um, I'm getting controlled here because there's some things I can say and some things I can't say according to these people. Um, but uh, they were supposed to take care of this and there is absolutely a betrayal of trust here when it comes to the United States government. And uh, every four years or at least every eight years the United States government changes um, its direction or supposedly changes. They keep a lot of things from the past administration, maybe, and it's all up to the new administration or the new president, right? <coughs> 
but I kind of forgot what I was going to say here as I mentioned that stuff, so I'm sure you can understand what I'm, where I'm coming from. Uh, but I ran across these songs here, and there's one song I was posting on there and listening to the next, stong, next song in the stack and the next song in the stack. You know, there's a stack on YouTube here that... Uh, uh, on the on on the right hand side, it's the right hand side. See, um, and it's a stack that the next song relates to the next song and the next song and the next song. Okay, so I came across this song called Golden, and and I looked down at the description. You know where where it's supposed to tell you the name of the song and who's who's who wrote it or or who sings it or whatever. And it's a song called Golden. Um, but the title is only Golden. That's, that's the only word that appears there is Golden. And I had the chance to deal or, or to talk with all of these people that are the greatest talent that we know in the United States. And these people are here and they've, they're, um, they are, or they, they lead the world in talent, as far as we know. See, but when we get into the details of looking at our country, and the people in our country, we overlook a lot of people. We overlook a lot, and we don't realize it. Um... And so there was a there was an opportunity I had to influence what was going to be on television. And I'm going to try to say here that I had something to do with uh, a TV show called Dancing with the Stars or America's Got Talent or something like that. But actually what happened was that I had the opportunity to speak with people who appeared on these shows that weren't these shows, they were the shows before those. And I got to talk to them and I got to uh, uh, influence them and hear these shows show up. Uh, I might have had something to do with some, some aspects or some parts of that show. But um, here's this song called Golden. And these people are the gold of this country. And um, they aren't, well, since the 70s, the government has run these people into the dirt. Whenever they, whenever they come out and they say there's something wrong with the way the present administration is dealing with something, uh, they uh, the you have your own understanding, right? What has happened in the past fifty years concerning these celebrities that have come out and said something against any president? of the last 50 years. What's happened to them? Uh, and I'm, I'm saying, you know, this government was established in 1776, right? In Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, they signed that agreement that they came up with and um, it was supposed to be where everyone in the country could have a chance to civilly debate their point of view in a mutually respectful organization that was specifically designed for that purpose. And then we take a look at these people today, right? The greatest talent that we know in this country and these people are the celebrities in uh, what we 
perceive as California. They may be somewhere else. We don't know. We don't care. We like to hear their songs. We like to read their books. We like to see their art, their motion pictures. And, um, of course, when you get into that business, you have problems. You have people. Uh, you're a superstar. You are someone who is in the public eye, right? The public eye. And the public... Um, the public is the composition of that tower where the eye stands on the top of that Lord of Rings film. You know, they have the eye tower. Well, the tower is the people. The tower is the people that that eye rests on, and it's a tower. And when you're, when you, when you, when you are that eye, or you're in that eye, and you look at the world around you. You feel elevated. You, it, it, it appears, it, your perspective, everything you see is that that world is so far down below you. And you are so elevated. But it's really just an illusion. And there's a movie that I asked someone to make, and they, they did a beautiful job. It's called Blade. And there was, there's Blade 1, Blade 2, Blade 3. I guess there's another one. I don't know. I haven't watched it because I got involved with something else. I may have seen it. I don't know. It's a great movie. It's Blade. The movie Blade. And the guy that is the star actor of that film is from is from Orlando where I was staying um, and and you know with these when you deal with these people you can't just walk up to them and say hey how you doing I'm this I'm so and so or you know these people are dealing with a situation which they have to deal with and it's it's a universal it's it's not a universal um, situation. It's a situation of a superstar um, in society, and you can't just say anything you want to them. Uh, and Washington is the same way. Okay, so, but now what we have here is how Washington is going to deal with these artists that are so incredibly influential with their art. It's art. It's peace. It's tranquility. It's everything that's in the preamble, right? These people, that's what art is. That's what people like. Everyone in this country likes that stuff and it's supposed to be Washington that delivers that stuff but it isn't it's the actors and the singers and the artists and the writers and uh, when you have something that is so desirable as that influence and uh, you have to deal with someone who is in it either for the money or the power or the glory. You have a serious situation on your hands, right? And then, it, then you need someone to um, explain to the public, which is this tower that you are elevated by so that you can look out and see everything that's going to harm your tower um, and uh, 
you have to protect that tower. And it doesn't really matter what that tower is, depending, well, it's, it's not depending on anything. You've got to protect that tower, right? So you can be anything you want to be as long as you maintain your tower. And there was a purpose for uh, the government in 1776. And I researched that. I saw that like 20 or 30 years ago. And I, I looked at it and I saw it and I knew, I knew, the, I knew the situation. I knew what was going to happen. And so I really researched it, and I looked in, I, I did, I tried to define it and, and write it out and, and explain every part of it. And I did that, I guess, and I mailed it away somewhere, and uh, that was a long, long, long time ago, and now I want to claim that I did that, but... I I really don't know. I can only suspect where I might have sent it. And hopefully maybe I did it. Maybe maybe I did do that. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. But I've got a government here that um, wants to deal with me because I have my own values that I want to talk about. And so... I have my tower, whatever that may be, I don't know what it is, and they have theirs, right? But from experience, which should be in my memory, or at least in uh, the history, the actual history of this country, and I'm not particularly talking about any kind of high school textbooks or elementary textbooks, elementary school textbooks. I'm talking about, um, I'm 56 years old. <laughs> I have a life that I've led, and uh, it was my life that I led because uh, I understand. And a long time ago, I, I wanted to get, when I was young, when I was in my 20s, early 20s to mid 20s I wanted to succeed at something <laughs> I wanted to be something right well buddy I paid uh, I paid a I paid a lot of prices and uh, I came to the determination that it's the devil's world <laughs> so anyway um I never really got anywhere because I was too big and I had that opportunity. And that opportunity which I had, which was talking to celebrities, knowing celebrities, whether they were artists in California or the people with the biggest dreams in Washington. Um, but from what I've learned with Washington and the celebrities, uh, Washington wants to assert the fact that they have uh, some kind of special right granted by their tower uh, to suppress the artists that are only looking out and seeing what they see and expressing what uh, they see for the purpose of benefiting from their art, uh, which is what that government has always claimed that they were promoting. So in one hand, they're saying, want success, and on, on the other and they're saying, uh, shut up, um, do it my way. And they claim to have a uh, mutual respect for...
for a debate, a civil debate in a organization that uh, is established for that purpose. Uh, but see, all of those people in Washington are criminals, and they've been criminals too long. And because they've been criminals too long, uh, it is, it's just understood that you're a criminal, and that's the way to do things. Um, and it's gotten so bad that for whatever reason, the court system sees that they have to break the law in order to enforce the law. Uh, they just don't understand why they do that on a day-to-day -day basis. It's just something that they uh, insist has insist has to happen. But there's this song called Golden, and I saw this I saw this song. <clears throat> I saw this song called Golden and so I wanted to point it out and I didn't know exactly how to post it on that Johnny Depp and Amber Heard uh, GMA story so I decided to make a video and then I'd post the video and then uh I'd post the video on my channel and then post post the link on the GMA story. So that is, uh, I guess that's it, right? <laughs> okay.